Greater Manchester clear air plan proposals. This is local news. They're bringing this back in. Um, I think it was about 10, 11 years ago that we all voted against the congestion charge. They're just bringing it in. Um, if you look at the data, congestion charge, 2003 it was. Was it London? 2003? Hasn't changed anything. Extinction Rebellion is still there. They're still saying in February or whatever it is every year. This is the... But it didn't do a fucking thing. It's just a tax. Just a fucking tax on people who drive an extra tax and they're, they're trying to bring it in again um great manchester's working hard to tackle air pollution wonderful Let's see what the link says what we're doing um blah 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 making a difference the new metrolink tram lines yep that's great although they're just destroying forests without any things they're doing a cycle infrastructure great love it uh already offers 300 public charging points set to be expanding soon with plans to double the number great wonderful um bus priority package wonderful 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 great who cares so you're already doing all this stuff so why do we need to do more eh um it's working seems to me on a on a purely personal level without going into the data manchester feels cleaner than it used to be um Definitely, there's certain parts of the city centre now where I really notice it because that's not been sorted out yet. Uh, the government has instructed Greater Manchester and many other areas to develop clean air plans to bring levels of NO2 on local roads within legal limits as soon as possible. So, Greater Manchester is now working to produce a single approach for the whole region. Uh, we've considered a wide range of measures. Um, blah, 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 blah. Feet, read on. <laughs> So, we are proposing a number of government-funded schemes to help Greater Manchester HGV, bus, coach, taxi, private hire vehicle operators and businesses to upgrade to cleaner vehicles. Um, 59 million for HGVs, 29, 28 million, blah, 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 blah. So, they're going to give money. Where's that money coming from, though? Why, why do this? Why do that? Where the... F we we can't even collect our bins and we're looking at giving out 100 million 100 plus million to modernize where's that money coming from is it going to be a congestion charge with a different name uh, did we all vote and say no on something and yet oddly enough for this government they're saying you got the wrong answer there <laughs> so we're just gonna bring it in the government has said that we need to consider introducing clean air zones CAZ, these are areas where targeted action is taken to improve air quality by discouraging the most polluting vehicles from entering the zone. Really? <laughs> no vehicle is banned from the CAZ, but vehicles which do not have clean enough engines would have to pay a daily penalty. Right, here we go. It's what it always comes down to, doesn't it? A load of middle class wankers sitting there. Oh, I know they've I know they voted against the congestion charge because it's going to hurt the poor the hardest. But let's just bring it in again. You've got a shitty car and you can't afford to get a, an electric one. Um, I'd love an electric car. It's What is it? 70 grand or something. But then um, I, I, I think on average in America, if you've got an electric car, in a year and a half, the average cost is about $100, $150. That's it. And that's because they rotate their tyres. You, you're not filling it up anymore because you, you drive to work, fill it up at work, you know, charge it at work with the public stations and, and that's enough to keep you going. People don't spend any money on it. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. How are you going to get more people in electric cars by charging a levy on the people who can't afford them? How does that work? That's insane. We tax something when we want to stop it. We tax cigarettes. We tax alcohol. We tax sugar. So, you know what you want to do if you want to encourage something? Tax breaks. You make it easier. You make it cheaper. Don't just get rid of taxes on electric cars. Give people a tax break for it off their overall thing for the year. What's that going to do? It's going to affect the richest first. The richest people are going to get tax breaks. Boo fucking who. They're going to get that anyway. They do that anyway, man. It's going to be a charity donation. They're going to go through their accountants. They're already jumping through every hoop on the planet right now to not pay their taxes. We all know this. Yeah? So why don't we do it so that the hoops they're jumping through is taking the dirty cars off the street? Rather than just saying, well, if you're already rich, we're not going to tax you. But we're going to tax 
the poor people. Here we go. Daily penalty for non HGVs, buses, coaches, taxes. So, buses, coaches, taxes, buses. So again, the poorest people are going to get hit. This is ridiculous. These people are fucking insane. £100 a day. £750 a day. This just goes on to me. They're not going to... They're not going to fucking that cost just gets passed on to me absolute tools we're proposing a range of supporting measures to help great greater manchester people and businesses clean this one's funding and support to help greater manchester move to electric vehicles all right you're going to put more ports in there but what again this is what i say yeah fucking you incompetent freaks we're gonna we're gonna tax the shit and it's going to hit the poorest the hardest, as usual. And then we're going to benevolently, apart from buying ourselves iPads and building a brand new office when there was no need for one at all, we're then going to benevolently build some more um, charging ports for the electric car people. You, you know, so you just... The rich are already doing well out of this nonsense. It's the same thing always. And... You know the best thing to do? The 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 charges for businesses in the city centre are phenomenal. And they go up every year, every bloody year. Um, the taxes for employees go up every year. They just rinse it in places, close, and they close, and they close. And as they close, they just put up the, the rates even more, right? You say to a business, who, by the way, the bigger the business, the more they're going to be avoiding tax anyway, right? They're already avoiding the tax. So you say to them... You can legitimately avoid this tax if you build the charging points. If you pay for the bike lane. Get them to pay for it. They're already avoiding it. They're already fucking us over. They're already not paying it. So incentivize the not paying it to benefit the community. Fucking hell. They literally can't pick up the bins in this city. How the fuck are they doing this? That is just not going to work. Disgusting, disgusting. They've also I've not I've missed it on here because I read through this earlier, and they, they've they're also doing a thing where if you travel to um work if you work in the city centre, there'll be a tax on your car as well, um, regardless of what it is. It's fucking ridiculous, fucking ridiculous. Oh, it's, it, and, it, and it doesn't work. Look at the charge. Look at the charge in London. Didn't do anything. It's still going up. Still going up. Ridiculous.